Oh yeah, what's up guys? It's Chris Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, I want to show you how to blur things in your videos. If you make uh, cinematic videos and you've got something that you record and you don't want to and you don't want it to be blurred out, or maybe you're gaming and you've got a and you did something that you don't want your fans to see or or something. I mean, there's a million reasons why you'd want to do this. Let me show you how to do it. And in this case, I'm going to show you how to do it using a pixelated blur as opposed to a more standard Gaussian blur. And you'll see here if I hit spacebar that not only is it blurred, but I've animated the blur so that it follows her face. So how did I do that, including the animation? Let's just go through this step by step. Okay, good. We're in Hit Film Express, as you know. Media library. The first step, drag and drop some footage onto your timeline. I'm going to drop it here. And then do note that I'm going to click no on this. And the reason why is because I've got 4K footage and you get a watermark if you export with 4K and you haven't got a paid version. HitFilm Express is amazing free software to do video editing with, but they do have some paid stuff that uh, you may or may not want to use. Up to you. Okay, so there you go. I've done that. Now, that said, it's 4K and it's in a 1920 by 1080 um, frame. So I need to fix that. So I'm going to right click here. And I'm going to go to transform. Where are you, Mr. Transform? Let's just go transform. And then I'm going to go fit to frame. And that basically takes the 4K and makes it into standard 1920, 1080 HD. Okay, good. You're following along with me. Now we're going to go to the effects panel over here. And luckily, when you type in the word blur, let me just do that here. You get a whole bunch of blurs. Some of them are upgrades. That means you have to purchase them. And some of them are not. Notice that there is no... Gaussian blur in here. They call it different things, but we're not going to be working with that one. This one we're going with witness protection. How great a name is that? Excellent. Drag and drop witness protection blur on top of the footage like I've done there. You'll see here now that it has created this neat little circle or this sphere and it's got a pixelated look. We're going to make some changes to it, but let's go ahead and first off, let's move it so that the blur is around her face to start. Okay, good. Now I'm just gonna increase the size over here. As you can see here, I'm under effects, witness protection, size. I'm gonna increase it a little bit so that it gets most of her hat too. We don't wanna give it away. Okay, good stuff. Now let's go ahead and start making some major changes. So the first one I wanna do is a position. So if I open up position, you'll see here I'm under effects, witness protection, position. You'll see here that it's got a little stopwatch or a little circle right beside the word center. Click on that. Now we are creating keyframes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move forward a little bit. Let's say one second, and then I'm just going to adjust the position of the blur. And then I'm gonna move forward another second or so. And I'm just sort of moving it along as I go, as I see fit here, so that it's always covering her face. Well, okay, that one's a bit far, so let's go to here. We'll move it. And what's happening is it's creating keyframes and it's interpolating the keyframes in between it so it's actually going to move along i'll show you when i'm done here so yeah let's just go quickly here something like that and then we get to here something like that and again i'm just gonna go nice and quick uh something like that and then presto good enough okay so now let's hit spacebar to see what we got take it to the beginning and i'm gonna hit spacebar and you're gonna see here that her face and the blur has animated along with it and it's done a pretty good job and this is because we've animated the keyframes and it moves with it that said we can make a few more adjustments while i got you the first one if we click under pixelate we can adjust the block size so right now it's got default 30 pixels but if i want it to be big pixels something like this and i want it to be random let's say something like that you kind of get like a minecrafty blockier look and it's, yeah, I mean, it's not my style, but again, you guys can adjust it as you see fit. I'm going to go down to maybe something like 40 and let's just go back to the regular. So here we go. This, however, is how you go ahead and add in blurs in HitFilm. There's other blurs we're going to show you in future videos, but this is awesome stuff. It's free software. Thanks for watching.